Hi guys, Mardok here. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today, we're going to be making a squared rope mat. So as you can see here, the mat has four bytes on the top, the right, the bottom and the left. It is completely squared. The mat can be used either as a hot pad on the table or as a door mat. When it comes to supplies, the first thing that we need is a rope. In my case, I'm using a quarter inch rope, so it has a diameter of 6 mm. The length of my rope is about 33 feet, so about 10 meters. This is enough for a 3 pass version of the mat. You can use any type of cordage that you would like, in my case I'm using hemp. Manila, sisal, other natural cordages work well. Besides the rope, a bit of tape is quite handy for securing the ends of your rope. This is going to prevent them from fraying or unraveling. A tying tool, such as a fed or a marlin spike, is going to come in handy for finishing the mat. A couple of pins can also be quite useful for holding the mat while you're tying it. Finally, scissors are used to cut our rope. Let's begin tying. To start my mat, I first tape up the two ends of my rope. Then I fold my rope in half. Like this. I place the middle point down onto my surface. With my two ends, I'm going to create two loops. So first on the left, I create a loop with the working hand passing under the standing part. On the right, I create a loop with the working hand passing over the standing part. Let's continue on the left. Take your working hand and pass it under the loop. So under two. Continue by feeding the left end under the standing part, here. Like this. Then, weave through these four strands under, over, under two. Under, over, and under two. This completes the top left corner of the mat. On the right, we tie pretty much the same way, but in reverse order. So with the right end, we pass 
ओवर्ड और लूप सो ओवर टू देन वी कनेक्ट द राइट कॉर्नर टू द लेफ्ट वन weaving through these three strands under over under under over and under like this continue by weaving through these four strands over under over to so over under over to This completes the top part of the mat. Now we move on to the bottom part. On the left, we again create a loop with the working hand passing under the standing hand. With the right hand, We again create a loop with the working hand passing over the standing part. As you can see here, I want these two loops to overlap. So the right loop passes over the left one. Now on the left we continue passing under our loop so under to like this we now connect the bottom left corner to the top left one we weave through these three strands over under over over under and over like this now we weave through these strands under over under over and under so under over under over under This completes the bottom left corner. Now our final bottom right corner. With the right end, we pass over our right loop, so over to. then we connect our bottom right corner to the top right one weaving through these three strands under over under so under over under
Finally, we weave through these strands here, going over, under, over, and under, coming alongside the left end. This completes the tying part of our mat. After removing the pins, we're going to continue by shaping up our mat a little bit. We want it nice and squared. When you get a nice looking, fairly loose mat, we're going to double and triple it up. Take any of the two ends and simply follow the other end through the mat until you run out of a rope. You can see that the mat is beginning to double up. When you run out of rope in one of your ends, take the other one and again follow the other end. Again until you run out of rope. Here you can see that I began tripling up the mat. Once you use up both of the ends, usually the mat is not entirely tripled up. The goal here is to get both ends to the same location. So here, let's say I'm going to bring them up to here, so to this end. Now to get more rope which I can work into the mat, I'm going to start adjusting the mat and slightly tightening it up. So I go through the mat from one end into the other, bringing some slack along the way. After quite a bit of tightening and adjusting, I got a bit more rope to work back into the mat. 
so I simply continue tripling it up. When I run out of rope again, I tighten up the mat again and again until I get enough rope that the two ends meet. When you get the two ends to the same location, we are going to finish up the mat either by stitching, lashing or splicing the two ends. Here I'm going to do a splice. First, unravel a bit of each end. Secure each of the strands by lightly taping them up. When your ends are prepared, we're going to splice them on the underside of the mat, in this case under this section to hide them out of sight. We are now going to finish up the two ends using the side splies. First, the three strands on the bottom. We're going to work them through the two passes in the mat. Start with the leftmost strand, work it through the first pass, and through the second pass. Continue with the middle strand, pass it parallel to the first strand, going through the first pass, then through the second pass. And the last of our strands again passes alongside the previous strand, going through the first pass, and through the second pass. This completes our work with one of the ends. The three strands are spliced through the two passes in the mat. Turn your mat around like this and we can begin our work with the remaining three strands. Take the leftmost one and tuck it alongside the middle strand from the other side. So, through here. Through the first pass. Through the second pass. Take the middle of the strands and tuck it alongside the previous strand and alongside the strand coming from the other side. Like this. And the final strand, 
again passes alongside the previous strand, going in its own lane, through the first pass, through the second pass in the mat, and we are done. Pull on each of your strands to really lock it into place. Then trim the ends. Your mat is now complete. So guys, that's our project for today, a square rope mat. Thank you very much for joining me today, I hope to see you in my future tutorials as well.